So this will probably be a pretty quick video. Uh, there's not too much going on in here. Uh, this is my Highland tank. It's just a small chest freezer with two white yes comms and a small fan inside. Uh, most of the plants in here are fairly small and a few have just been moved over to the tent, but I thought I'd just give a quick look. Uh, let's see up top here, there's a small seed grown macrophylla that was recently repotted. Uh, it's slowed down a little bit since then, but I'm sure it'll bounce back pretty quick. Here's a gray Moglensis. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, one of my favorite sundews for sure. It just gets so dewy and colorful. There's a few plants in here that have kind of clumped up and bunched together. This is an AW clone Lowy. I'm not exactly sure which clone. Had it for maybe a year, year, year plus, and. Uh, it's finally giving me some visible lid bristles, which I'm super happy about. Down below, I've got a few jam band. This one is actually a cutting from this stem here. Uh, it just got really palm tree-like and it just wasn't growing very well. So I cut it back, re uh, rooted the top. I've got this little offshoot sprouting now. And this is a uh, fairly new cutting of jamban here. And then see over here we've got a single on a Hamada from Carnivoro. Pretty nice. Uh, this is a Vinchicosa Hamada that actually was pouting pretty bad, as you can see, whenever it first arrived, but just kind of left it alone, let it do its thing, and it's throwing out much larger, healthier leaves now. This is just a uh, little Briggsiana, pretty common plant, but always really, really nice. This is a complex cross from Red Leaf. It's not doing too much right now, but there's that. Here's a Brubigia Rob Cantlii, or maybe it's the reverse cross. No, oh, yeah, Brubigia Rob Cantlii. Cool. Uh, really nice plant. Can't wait for it to get a bit bigger. Uh, it's got a new picture popping up there. There's this tiny little Peloinensis hiding right there. And this is a uh, seed-grown glandulifera uh, lowii here. Let's see if I can get a look at it. It's from CK. This is its newest picture that just popped a few days ago. Whenever they color up, they become a pretty dark kind of red peristome, some striping. Uh, here's an AW Hamada, it's a clone two. Um, it was pouting and throwing out a lot of really weird deformed leaves and pitchers for a good while. Even in solid highland conditions, it just wasn't very happy. But uh, let's see if I can find some of the weird leaves it was throwing off. You can kind of see that one's not even on both ends. There was a lot of that and just weird, uneven deformed leaves, pitchers that didn't have uh, wings or stuff like that. But it's bounced back and it's put out this pretty large pitcher that's, I mean, almost bigger than the plant itself. So it's doing a lot better now. And then this is a Hamada Edwardsiana. It's got a pretty interesting uh, peristome shape. You can see. Kind of a frowny face looking thing. Uh, this is an Elisa Patrona that just hates me. 
Um, it's been crazy slow and just not really working well for me. It's gotten a lot of algae on the pot. I think I'm just gonna repot it and hope that does something, but it's just not really happy with me right now. So we'll see. And then this is a small Raja that has struggled since day one. Uh, it arrived in pretty rough shape and it just hasn't done great. Uh, you can see though that it arrived with a small basil and that's doing better than the mother plant. So I think once that gets larger than the mother, I'm just gonna chop it back, chop the mother plant back and Hopefully that'll do a lot better, but it just hasn't been happy since day one, which was maybe a year ago or so. I don't know. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Only other thing in here is some some moss, a few Cape Sundews in here. This is just a tub of moss that I've kind of let grow and Capensis have kind of taken over. And there's a few other plants that have started to kind of sprout up. That's pretty much it.